Today we are doing two inch Schedule 80 E6010 stick roots. This one's gonna be 5G. I have cleaned the inside of this pipe as always, and we have put a, a generous 330 second root face land on here. I'm gonna use my uh, little spacer tool that I like to use, judge my gap. I like to fit this up a little bit close. I'm running eighth inch 6010. And uh, I'm gonna run about 78 amps and I'm gonna rake this in downhill. So first thing I need to do is tack. I'm gonna put a little fit tack up here at the top. I've got this in a V block. I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees, get the same gap, equal things out. I'll probably just put three tacks in it and I'll start and weld the opposite side that's open. So again, 78 amps, eighth inch, 6010. When you're tacking up <clears throat> small pieces like this, a lot of times it's a good idea. Number one thing, we want to be accurate. We want to, we want to get right down in the groove. But for me, put your fingers on one side, but strike the arc on the pipe that you're holding, not the other one. It may move around, you move your gap. One of the small details is just a little workmanship thing. So I want to get my rod down here, get ready. Hopefully the camera guy is ready to go. Okay, I put a small tack in just to kind of hold them. I, I could hear it going in as a root. That's fine because I'm going to feather all these tacks out and consume and blend into the tacks. So I want to rotate this 180 degrees. And I need to open that up just a squeeze. We'll get our second tack in about the same size. Only putting the first two tacks I put in are usually about a quarter or so. Now I have two tacks that are 180 degrees away from each other. If I had one side that was tight, one side that was wide open, I, I could pivot off two small tacks. If my tacks are too big, then I can't move this back and forth. So I would have to really thin them out, grab a wedge or something and drive it in there to move it. Also, another little trick is, if I have one side that's slightly open, more than the other one, then I can tack on that side. And as the tack shrinks, it helps open up this side over here. Okay, right now I need to feather my tacks that I'm gonna start on. One of them has a keyhole open to me. The other one does not, but I'm gonna leave this tack alone. I don't wanna thin this tack out because since it's fairly small, if I thin this out right now, then I take a chance of, when I put this root in on this opposite side of this tack, I have a chance of it breaking. I don't want that to happen. So I need to set my machine or my hood to uh, grind mode and get down in here and do some feathering. I have my tacks feathered out sufficiently. I've left uh, one side of them. I'm not real worried about both edges of the tack. Actually, I want to leave one of them kind of fat so it'll hang on to something, but I thin the part out that I'm going to start out on and blow through and where I'm going to tie in. So I need to get this in the fixture. Hey, this is a small bore pipe, so things are going to happen quickly. And when I say happen, there's a couple of things that are actually happening. And one of them is like what we call a transition. You reference the rod to the center of the pipe. So you got to do this transition and it's going to happen real quick on this small bore. And the other thing is I'm going to hold a real short arc. I've gone ahead and turned my machine up two amps. I'm up to 80 amps right now. I'm going to hold a short arc and rake this in here. So what you'll probably see is I'm going to start out up here on this tack, establish my keyhole and rake this in here. When I say rake, I'm holding a fair amount of pressure on there. And a lot of times I'll get it to where it just we're just bending the rod, but I want to hold it in there tight enough to establish the, the keyhole inside the pipe and keep the root going and travel fast enough to kind of fill that in without overfilling it or blowing up the keyhole. So. As I had mentioned before, I left this tack alone on this side. I took it out of the fixture, put it over on the block feathered the tacks, feathered this one over here facing me, and now I'm gonna run the opposite side back here. 
All right, so I have everything prepared. I'm getting ready to drop the lid here. Uh, I'm getting ready to run this offhand. Again, I ran this one out there in front. I'm real comfortable. I'm gonna turn around and do this in the opposite hand or offhand, and I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing. I just have to make sure that I'm always referencing the center of the pipe so I know where my rod angle is and be able to make that move. Alrighty, that completes our root run. You'll see the old man was a little squirrely over here on his offhand. It's not the prettiest on the inside, but I did see that it's broken down. It has reinforcement. Yeah, I need to practice a little bit, but again, three tacks. We started over here. We ran it down at the bottom, common stuff. Feathered everything out, did it on the offhand. The next thing we would do in another episode is we're gonna clean this out and we're gonna run a hot pass and a cap, okay? Appreciate you watching. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please contact us. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the love button. Notifications. Appreciate you watching. Thank you.